Hi everybody, thanks for watching. What you're looking at is a vintage boombox. This thing is probably out of the late 80s, late uh, or to the early 1990s. And like anything that goes without use for a while, people put it in storage. And you know a lot of these things are dual powered, they're either AC powered or battery powered. So we put this over to the back. And of course, we all know that you don't store things for long periods of time with batteries in it, but people do that all the time. And with these alkaline batteries, they start to leach out their alkaline. So there you go. These old D batteries, D cell batteries, have done just that over time. Storage, they leak, and you're left with that mess in there. So I'm going to show you how you can clean it up without too much trouble with uh, simple household chemicals and a couple tricks that will help you out. First thing you're going to see is I'm not freaking out with uh, lots of gloves, but you can use gloves if you want. Here's what we're going to use before us today. First, distilled white vinegar. The normal acidity for this stuff is 5%. You can spend a little bit more and get 6%, which is called cleaning vinegar. Uh, not usually worth it for the for the price for the difference of that 1%. Uh, a lot of people dilute it anyway. But we're going to use Q-tips, some distilled vinegar. Uh, I've got a little kid's medicine cup that I just poured the vinegar in because it's easier to work with that. And I also have another kid's uh, medicine syringe here. You know, every time your kid gets some medicine, they give you a cup and stuff. I, I, I use that stuff uh, later on for this type of cleaning action. Uh, glove, if you want it, you can wear it, protect yourself a little bit, but the acid's not too bad. And a couple little rag towels that we'll use to wipe this out. Finally got this, and I'll fill full of some rinsing water and just wipe it on. So I'll save one of the clean rags just for rinsing water. We'll put that over there, and we'll get to it. I'll put this on a tripod, and let's let's get busy. Here's another close-up of all that junk. Repeat after me. Don't store stuff with batteries in it. Let's get to work. All right, I've got you set up on a tripod. One thing I forgot to mention is just use some couple use uh, paper towels. They're handy for blotting things out and keeping it clean. First thing I'm going to do is on the uh, main portions there, I'm going to use the syringe and apply some vinegar. Pinpoint, it should bubble up. You see that? I'm actually going to put a little bit on this rag or on the paper towel and wipe the edges. We'll zoom out and let you see all the bubbling action. Wipe it down. Now this battery compartment is pretty big, so I really don't need that syringe to get into the nooks and crannies. Really, I can just use kind of like a mopping action of a of a um, Q-tip with the vinegar on it. Get that everywhere, especially in the little corners of the compartment. You can use your rag to sweep it out there. Flip the Q-tip over, get the other part. This is pretty crusty. You can see all that junk on the bottom. Here's a different view. Pretty thick. Those D-cell D -cell batteries had a lot in there. You can actually hear it hissing. Pull it over here, let the gravity take it to the edge. As far as cleanup costs, it's pretty cheap. Vinegar's a couple bucks for a gallon. We're going to use 25 milliliters. Use an old shop towel or an old towel that you cut up. All 
All right, we're almost done here. Uh, one other tool that could become useful to keep in your cleaning kit is simply a little toothbrush. Make sure this doesn't get back in your toothbrush kit for using it. But you need to agitate certain spots. We'll put a little more vinegar on there and you see how I'm agitating that little white spot with a tiny crevice. Let's get down there. Come on, where is it? There it is. The soft nylon bristles with the vinegar do what they're supposed to do in your teeth. They agitate and get rid of the stuff. It's sort of plaque. We're getting rid of a hard alkaline deposit. All right, here we are. That toothbrush really did the trick for getting in the nooks and crannies. This is now what it looks like when it's all cleaned up with the vinegar. The only thing I want to do now is just rinse everything. And to do that, I'm simply going to use warm water and a clean cloth. I'll get in there and wipe everything down really well. I'm not going to use any soap on it because it cleaned up so well already. Uh, this will take care of all the alkaline that has leaked out of those old batteries. But uh, let me just do a little bit last bit of cleaning with the water and we'll let this air dry and it should be good as new. Here's the after shot. Fifteen minutes, maybe twenty five cents worth of raw materials. Don't store batteries in your electronics. Thanks for watching.